welcome to One Vision TV. Your mama boy, Tony Fats and J Legend. Good. Tell, tell everybody what y'all here to do, man. What we all from? I'm from Tampa, Florida. Y'all saw me in the building, Tampa, Florida. I'm originally from Chicago. I've been in Tampa for the last four years. I've been out there. What brought you down there? I really just wanted to get out the hood, no cap. Like, yeah, I was, I was dead ass, like around too many. Oh, you know he just died. You know he just got shot. <coughs> hey, bro, just died. And I'm like, that shit is getting too close to me, so I'm gonna move the fuck around. Move the fuck around. Sunshiny all the time. This shit motherfucker nice and that thing. That's what you you born and raised down there. Huh? I was born in Miami. I was raised in town. What made y'all get in the car? I always been fighting. You know what I mean? Like making my family laugh and shit. Family gathering. And then, um, when I ain't got indicted, I was like, fuck. Like, I, I was just really just trying shit. Like, shit, I knew I was going to prison soon. Like, fuck. Let me just try some shit. Like, yeah. Getting up on stage. I'm in love with this shit. That's dope. That's dope. So, did you, when you went to, you, you ended up going to prison still? Yeah, I ended up doing four years. So, you know, and then I came home. I came home the next day. I was in so I knew, like, you know, what I was supposed to do. Was you keeping the grind going? Like, while you was locked up? Like, oh, yeah, I was still making niggas laugh. I was making niggas laugh. I had some CEOs crowd, like, when I left. I was in this crowd, saying I made it time easy. Shit, that niggas still had, like, eight years and shit like that. They were sad. Like, they were sad. They were sad. They were sad. So I was. That's when I really knew, and then like the day I got released, I opened up for Ronnie Jordan the next day. He like, he was on the Bad Boys and Comedy. Yeah. He do the blessed as fuck shit, if you ever seen the blessed as fuck yeah. t-shirts and shit, that, that's him. Shout out Ronnie. That's dope, that's dope. What about you, what made you get into comedy? You know, motherfuckers always be talking shit. Like, I grew up in the hood, you know. Motherfuckers, all they do is eat and roll. So that's what that shit stands for. Like, when I moved to Florida, I, I moved out of Chicago, which is a bigger city to do comedy. Yeah. And I started in Florida. What happened when I was working in the kitchen with this white boy that did comedy. His name was Andrew Sonnen. They just seen me in the kitchen. He like, I need to get you on stage, bro. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go see this shit. So I went to go see him. And I seen like six like white comics back to back to back just trash. I'm like, all right, yeah, I can do this shit. I'm gonna put it over here, boy, get my time on. And then like what really made me stick to it, like two months in, uh, I got invited to do a birthday party. So I'm sitting up on a birthday party. Got paid eighty dollars to the fifteen minutes. Yeah. And they all sitting there drunk as hell in the living room. And I'm just talking about these people family. I'm like, y'all literally can't pay me to come talk shit to y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, fuck you. You live here, fuck you. I don't want to go. <laughs> you can probably get to your living room come talk shit to your face. And pay me to do it. So, uh, what would you say, what were some of the goals you guys got for this year? For this year? Yeah, or even next year, just coming up goals. Like, I'm ready. I really want to get it like, to the point where I can feel special because with this comedy shit, like, if you don't promote yourself and put yourself out there, you're really not going to go nowhere. You can hit different cities, but it's hard to have motherfuckers know who you is. So you got like a super special and you can go up on the internet or something. That way, motherfuckers be like, oh, that's you, that dude from the internet. That's the only way motherfuckers going to know you. Ain't nobody going to I'm going to do this shit tonight. Motherfuckers be like, oh, bro, it's funny. And like two days later, they're going to be back for their shit. They ain't going to we're gonna remember you over here. Funny. Funny. Yeah. It's up to you. They all say, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you make us laugh, we're gonna remember you. I'm gonna remember you, but hey, you know how that shit goes. Yeah, they sure. talk about that shit for a little while, but if you ain't, if they don't see you, if, they'll, if you don't see me in a month from now, you're like, oh, he was funny when he came in, but I ain't seen him do shit. Uh, you guys travel around a lot, though, right? Yeah, I know. What's your favorite place you ever been to? Uh -huh. yeah. uh, yeah. You went back there to perform recently? Yeah, yeah I did it uh, in March. Uh, it was still quarantine, but then uh, I, I got enough people to say out there that I was like, I had a pretty good little comfort. Had about 85 people in there, all the homies. That was their first time seeing me do comedy. They were like, you've been funny all your life, you should have been doing this shit. Uh, first time, they got to 
seen it. It was lit. Everybody was drunk. I'm like, yeah, this is this, this, this shit like you know, before me at home. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. This shit covered. I got the comedy special. I'm not going to touch it on compound. This is my first comedy special. So when you make you make music, that's like funny. Or yeah, so know. what I do is that like certain jokes. Yeah. I got certain jokes that say my material that's real. Yeah. And then I also got certain jokes that it's like probably I heard my pockets talking. Like, I don't like it. I read a story when somebody wanted to do some shit. <laughs> Yeah.